blessed sabbath day dear beloved of the living god welcome to another sabbath day where we commemorate the creation the authority and whom god is and why we worship him let us begin with a word of prayer before we go into today's very very important and spiritual message from above let us kneel down and pray mighty jehovah mighty god the creator of the universe almighty father today you've tasked me almighty father to do a very very sensitive and very very important and spiritual topic lord use my tongue use my tongue lord to speak to your children and let the seed be planted my father i pray that you forgive me of all my sins the listeners and those watching cleanse us from all filth and unrighteousness because all of us lord are filthy before your throne almighty father we bow we bow together with the listeners and the watchers those watching at your holy feet lord we want to learn from thee we want to be purified we want to be with thee in the most holy place so that as you close the books of judgment and stand up we stand up with thee and not left down fallen almighty father help us i pray that you control me you use me i humble myself lord from the day you chose me to do your work I've humbled myself Lord and not let my name be uplifted but your name almighty father let your name be glorified through this instrument that you've chosen I pray in the mighty name of Jesus my savior amen my dear brothers and sisters today is a very very important day because we have a very very important message that God has directed me uh, to give to you to give to you and everything i'm going to speak should be according to the word of god the only authentic word of god is the holy word of god the bible the king james version and also from the last prophet who was given to us ellen g white the spirit of prophecy remember revelation 19 verse 10 says the spirit of prophecy is the word that jesus gives to his prophets and all those who decide not to listen don't do not make it through um, my dear brothers and sisters today is a very important day because today the message is very very important the message is about who are the present truth messengers the flock at the end of the world where we are we are at the end of the world time is running very short and it is from the SDA church that a remnant should come out a remnant should come out remember the dragon was wrath with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed so we have the woman who is the sda church and then we have the seed which is being shaken now and then the remnant of her seed is the target of the devil and and you know what my friends the remnant is a very little number a very little number today we're going to talk about who are the present truth messengers globally that god recognizes and who are those who are not in present truth yet they claim to be present truth and to be preaching prophecy in the sda church forget about the other churches because those are not in the woman in the church they are not in israel remember judgment begins in israel and as it begins in israel many of the israelites will fall it's been like that for six thousand years many of the israelites have been falling and the prophet lng white says not one in 20 that's a very little percentage my dear friends not one in 20 of us whose names are in the church records of the seventh day adventist church her church ellen g white was seventh day adventist founder founder 1844 with the other pioneers and the prophet the only prophet amongst the rest because those are pioneers she says not in one quotation that not just this quotation i'm giving you she says less than one in 20 my dear friends our names are standing good in the church records our names are standing good we are elders we've been given positions we are talkers women mini women's ministries pathfinders and pastors but 
less than 1% of us will make it through. This is another quotation here, which the prophet says. She says, the last vision of Ellen G. White, in the last vision given to me, I was shown the startling, the startling fact that but a small portion Oh, my friends, of those who now profess the truth, be sanctified by it and be saved. Many will get above the simplicity of the work. They will conform to the world, cherish idols, your jobs, SBAs, your jobs, and become spiritually dead. Volume 1, 608. It's a very, very sad situation that today, my friends, I'm going to explain to you that all of you, all of us in the SDA church who are returning tithes and offerings to the conferences, you're not going to be sealed. You're not going to be sealed. You see, every generation of these 6,000 years of this planet, God chooses a prophet. Moses was their prophet. Out of three million Israelites, only two, only two listened to their prophet and Joshua and Caleb made it through that's a very little percentage it's again less than one percent the story goes on and on and on today we have a prophet called Ellen G. White and if you do not want to listen to her you're not going to get sealed all the tithes and offerings that have been given to the conferences are not recognized in heaven yes uh, last week and the other week we had baptisms all over Thousands upon thousands were baptized. And I just told somebody who told me that report to say, what message brought them in? Are they in the less than 1% that is going to get it? Or are they in the majority? My dear brothers and sisters, all our tithes and offerings today, Jesus is not static. We want to make Jesus static. The Jesus who was during Isaiah's time, had a different message for Isaiah's time, a different message for Jeremiah's time, a different message for Moses' time, a different message for the Jews during his time, who continued, like in chapter 1 of the book Great Controversy, who continued giving ordinances and rituals in the sanctuary, saying, us, we are saved, we are already, we are with God, we will be protected. My dear friends, because they stuck to the old beliefs and they missed the present truth that Jesus was the present truth and had a message for them at that present time. Oh my dear friends, they missed it and they perished. More than a million Jews were killed in the destruction of Jerusalem because of not following the present truth. Jesus was the present truth and yet they said, no, we cannot follow the present truth. We're going to stick to Moses' policies. Today we have the present truth. The Spirit of God according to the prophecies of the Bible of Daniel and Revelation and Paul, the Spirit of God is upon his chosen ones. Those who are preaching the message that pertains to our situation today are the chosen ones. And if you are left behind, you'll be like the Jews who continued their rituals in the sanctuary and yet Jesus said, this is done. Can you move on? We are in present truth. And they said, no, we can't. And they were killed. But chapter 1 of Great Controversy says the real Christians who listened to the present truth were saved and no Christian was killed. Oh, my dear friends, if you want to be killed, continue with the rituals. We are at the end of the world. This is not a story. This is not a fable. This is something that as I'm evangelizing on the streets and more than 500 people on the WhatsApp group and it's going to reach 1,000 very soon. Most of those people are not SDAs, but they agree that we are at the end of the world. What makes you the SDAs to think you're not that, to convince yourselves that you're not at the end of the world? Oh, my dear friends, don't be like the Jews who were killed because of being stubborn. And they continued saying, no, our God will save us. We are, we are straight. We are not wrong. That is the most dangerous part of a human being when you think you are correct and you are not wrong when you are being corrected. Correction means you need to be humble. If you humble yourself and you obey the law of God, obeying the law of God is very important. Stop sinning. The more you sin, the more you distance yourself from God. And the more you distance yourself from God, my friends, the more you are not going to get it. 
This time all the monies should be spent to speed up the messengers who have present truth. Let's first of all discover. You see, Zambia is a very sensitive country. We've been harassed. Present truth in Zambia has been arrested. Daylight. Big hooligans. Masons who have been sent into our churches from government offices. Very high positioned, commanded senior personnel in the police and bundled our present truth brothers and took them to the police stations. That was part one of the tribulations that we are going to go through amongst many for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. My dear friends, that did not weaken their faith but strengthened it. Just like during the 1260 years when they were being persecuted, their strength was strengthened until they said, let's stop killing these people because we do not understand. That's what the Pope said. The purpose is said, let's stop killing them. The more we kill them, the more they multiply. This mission cannot be stopped. Today I'm going to speak about certain names of people who are in present truth. You see, when you join present truth, respect the people you found in present truth. That's the order of heaven. God chooses leaders. I've been given a very big task in Zambia to lead the present truth in Zambia. And Zambia is a very, very sensitive country. We're going to discover that very soon. Zambia is extremely sensitive and the burden is heavy. Many a times I've fallen and I've wanted to quit, but the angel of the Lord has been sent to me to strengthen me up. Oh, my dear friends, our journey is full of thorns, mostly those who have been selected in leadership. I'm going to talk about the leadership in America, in London, in South Africa, and all over the world. Those in present truth that, you see, I've met people who have asked me, how do I know that this one is in present truth? I'm, preach I'm seeing a lot of preachers, even in SDA, claiming to be present truth today. I'm going to give you the people you are supposed to be respecting because they have been chosen by the Almighty God to lead you in present truth until God says their time is up. When God tells me my time is up, he will replace me with somebody else because this mission will not fail. It will continue all the way. God always replace, re replaces his servants when he sleeps in. Oh, my dear friends, look at in America. In America, we have a very, very important present truth messenger and leader, leader of God. In that place, Pastor Andre Enriquez. Pastor Andre Enriquez, I'm going to introduce you to his page. It's called Prophesy. Again, that's the YouTube channel. It's got, a, I think, a, a big, big following, 207,000 subscribers. Okay, subscribe to that channel. Put the notification bell there. Get to listen to all his sermons. This man is my senior in present truth. And I respect him. And uh, I just got to know him two years ago, three to two, two, three years ago. And uh, there's a purpose why I got to know him. But I knew present truth uh, 12, how many years ago? 12, no, 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 15 years ago. To 20, 15 to 20 years ago from Mark Woodman. Uh, Mark Woodman got me to, to, to present truth. And there's a man I'm going to introduce later on today. I call him my general present truth. He's still alive. He's still alive. So please, Pastor Andre Enriquez is a very important man of God chosen by the heavenly sanctuary to lead a people in a very, very sensitive country of the United States of America. But friends, chapter 25 of Great Controversy explains the role of America according to Revelation chapter 13. America is sensitive and this brother has been given a very heavy burden on his shoulder. I, when I say very, I'm, I'm emphasizing it. He, he works like a machine. You know, he's guided by the Spirit of the Almighty God. He works like a machine. That's not normal. But because God strengthens him, he fuels him and is on fire until his time is up. Before his time is up, he's untouchable. He's been untouchable for a long time. Even if you touched him today, you would not gain anything because he would have fought his good fight of faith, just like Paul said when they were going to cut off his head. The man has done his part. And as long as God still gives him breath, he's going to do his part. Those of you, I'm seeing 207, uh, 
thousand subscribers on his youtube channel even facebook has got a page please go fill up the numbers there get to listen to every day his sermons are on a daily basis oh my dear brothers and sisters i'm going to come back to pastor andrew and Riggers. i want to go to the second man here of god in present truth this is pastor emmanuel nogosu amazing word ministries a very very key figure also has been there for i think 10 years and above 61,000 subscribers on youtube this man of god has been fought even pastor andrew Rodriguez fought right i'm coming back to pastor andrew Rodriguez. right left center midway fought by demoniacs even some people who claim to be present truth preachers yet they are far from present truth fighting him on his personal issues but my dear brothers and sisters your fights have been in vain this man is busy like a machine he's stressed a pastor and is stressed too we're all stressed <laughs> but he's got his angels tools from heaven above in the heavenly sanctuary who come to comfort him and strengthen him and i congratulate you my brother as i was preaching the sermon of uh, the antichrist in uh, attending the g7 i saw because i know by the way i watch all of you even those of you i'm not going to mention here i watch you i've followed you for years and unfortunately you are not yet there because you do not humble yourselves and there are things you are missing humility and the law of god these two things when you miss them humility and the law of god you are going to miss the whole thing pastor pastor Emmanuel Nogusu, very very instrumental agent of the heavenly kingdom of the heavenly sanctuary he was in vatican i know the antichrist is very annoyed because you went into his bedroom and did a great work may god bless that work that you did continue moving around the world because that is the mission god has given you until your time is up and when your time is up god is going to replace you with somebody else because that is the way all of us are destined to be from pastor Emmanuel Nogusu, you can also come closer home here to zambia in south africa my brother david and this is their youtube channel it's called messengers of present truth ministry international with 19000 subscribers because the you see the country is smaller than america and but south africa is big pastor i mean um, brother devin is a very instrumental agent and messenger of the living god god is using this man to preach to you present truth and if you are interested in learning present truth and being connected and being led in that region of south africa by the way these people are on social media there's a reason god has put us on social media watch messengers of present truth ministry international and follow closely the teachings of our brother follow closely the teachings of our brother and from him you can also come to brother kuzai there in uk the Herald Report Ministry with 10,000 subscribers and he's Zimbabwean but I think he's based in UK and uh, very very instrumental as well watch his sermons get to learn something about present truth present truth and uh, I'm coming back to America we have Apocalypse Ministries and you see we have uh, our general who died there's a general who i talked about who, who's still alive we have our general who died pastor moses Masson. now he has two very very important instruments that god chose to do the work number one pastor jeremiah davis i'm going to come to pastor jeremiah davis because he's a very special person to me uh, and then number two we have a very important man the son of the general the late general moses Masson, marcus Masson. please follow his sermons his present truth and this is his channel apocalypse ministries please watch watch and learn present truth from this great instrument of the heavenly sanctuary then we also have pastor jeremiah davis you can 
you can catch Pastor Jeremiah J. Davis on the same channel, Apocalypse channel, and if you just search on YouTube, you might find sermons where he recently preached here and there, invited here and there. This is, I have very few words for him because I think the people in my team here know how I highly regard Pastor Jeremiah Davis. This is an instrument from above. Watch his sermons, listen. You can have, I think he's done in, in a lot of sermons. You can get all of them, I think, from YouTube here and there. Make a collection. Listen to Pastor Jeremiah Davis. He's a servant sent from the most holy place to preach the everlasting gospel that has to spread to all the corners of the world. The present truth of the three angels message and how to get a people sealed and ready to stand as Jesus stands very, very soon. Very, very soon. Last but not the least, we have the general himself. Now, the general is somebody I knew before I knew all these people I've mentioned. I knew the general way back. Hey, it has taken years for me to, to, to accept the present truth, but I accepted it then, but wholly accepting it, it is when God called me to do this work three years ago. My friends, Pastor David Mould. Pastor David Mould has a YouTube channel entitled by his name David Maud, you can even see a dog barking because anyone who does not bark is not a messenger of Jesus Christ, is not in present truth. Pastor David Maud is an instrument from above. I was surprised when I found that the man is still alive and is still breathing because he has been striking much longer than all these people have mentioned. If I've not mentioned your name, it's because God has not yet revealed it to me that you are also a messenger of present truth. You need to pull up your socks and you need to do more. You need to do more. Now, Kenya, I have people in the WhatsApp group in Kenya. I have people in the WhatsApp group from Congo, DRC. I have people from Tanzania. I have people from all these countries where I have not mentioned anybody in South Africa. But in South Africa, there is uh, already I've mentioned him. My dear brothers and sisters, these people these people who are preaching present truth are not only preaching present truth to people in their countries. You can follow them on YouTube and Facebook. Download these messages before we're going to be starved very soon. Not because of food, but because of the message. Very soon, people will go. The Bible says they will run to us. The prophecy in the Bible says they will run to and fro looking for the message. They will not find it. Download their sermons. Keep them somewhere. Do not waste money to useless things that you like watching on Netflix and on DSTV, but download these people I've mentioned and watch them when there will be starvation. That is the food that you'll be feeding on. Download the sermons. My dear brothers and sisters, I have a quotation here, very important, because this quotation teaches us to, you see, the rule in present truth is that that person you found who has, you have found already anchored in present truth is your senior, is your senior. I do not want to forget the very important people, like even me here, I have a team. The team that God has given me is very, very instrumental. My brother there in America, Pastor Andrew Rodriguez, I'm going to come to him again, very instrumental, he has a team, and these team members are also preaching, they are also preaching on the channels, but there are other people behind the scenes who are not even preaching. All the team members in present truth, in all the various teams I've mentioned, my dear brothers and sisters, without them, even the pastors I've mentioned and the preachers I've mentioned cannot do their job. God has systematically programmed everything. That is why I said all tithes and offerings go to the present truth. I'll give you quotations for that. Just, just hold it on a little longer. Now, we need to consult from the leadership before God makes them to sleep. So long as Pastor Andrew Enriquez exists as your leader, so long as Pastor Emmanuel Nogusu exists as your leader, David there is your leader, the leadership should be consulted all the way until God makes the leader to sleep and God will put another leader there. God has a God of order. Every time the leader is still breathing, it means he's still recognized in the heavenly sanctuary. Therefore, if you dis, dis him, 
disregard the leader, then you are dissing the one who has sent him, Jesus Christ, and you don't qualify to be under the team of the present truth where you belong. That is why these teams are strong, perfectly united, because even in heaven, when you read Spirit of Prophecy, the angels have leaders. God has divided angels into companies, okay? Every company has a leader, is a little I know us, we are small, we have big, big people in our teams, but in heaven, the, the angels, the leader of a company is bigger than the other angels to show them that there is an order. Each company has a leader, a commanding angel. Each company has a commanding angel. There is an order in the heavenly kingdom where we are going in a few months time. This order begins now before Jesus appears in the skies to take us home with us, the present truth people and followers. Oh, my dear friends, I congratulate even some of the brothers, their wives are supporting. Not all the brothers, some of them, their wives are supporting. Keep it up. The children, keep it up. And the members who are supporting. Those who are even teaching, keep it up. Those members who are silent and helping financially. Oh, if you don't know how much God is appreciating you and the mansions that are waiting for you above. Now, learn from your leaders. Let me give you a quotation. I saw that the shepherds should consult those in whom they have risen to have confidence, those who have been in all the messages, consult and affirm in all present truth before they advocate new points of importance, okay, which they may think the Bible sustains. Everybody who found somebody, consult. When somebody corrects you, listen to the correction. If I'm corrected by my seniors, these people have mentioned, I listen. I listen. Okay. Then the shepherd, they also listen to me. Then the shepherds will be perfectly united. It's time for this, my friends. We do not have time. The whole world, present truth, we need to be united. Then the shepherds will be perfectly united and the union of the shepherds will be felt by the church. They need to feel our union. Such a cause I saw would prevent unhappy divisions and then there would be no danger of precious flock being divided and the sheep scattered without a shepherd. Now, when it comes to giving tithes and offerings. This is now going to, I know, the ignorant and the dumb, dumb people and the so-called self-praisers, those who think they already have the favor of heaven and the way the Jews said and they were killed in millions at the destruction of Jerusalem because they dissed Jesus and his present truth and they said, ah, no, no, us, we are connected. We are all saved. Everybody is saved. Eh? I meet Pentecostals with painted lips and painted eyes saying they are saved with mini skates, short skates. Everybody says he's saved. That's the most dangerous part of a human being. My dear friends, you need to learn something about right now, all the tithes and offerings should go to the swift messengers, nothing else. Listen to this. The Lord has shown me that the precious souls are starving and dying for want of the present sealing truth. The meat in due season and that the swift messengers the people have mentioned should speed on their way and feed the flock with the present truth. I heard an angel say, speed the swift messengers, speed the swift messengers, for the case of every soul will soon be decided either for life or for death. This is sensitive. I saw that those who had the means, the money, were required to help speed these messengers that God has called to labor in his cause. And as they went from place to place, they would be safe from the prevailing pestilence. So, those of you who send yourselves, you have the monies like the Ted Wilson, a lot of money flying, expensive jets going everywhere, messing around the people, baptizing billions in the wrong messages. Messages of ecumenical meetings. Those are the messages you are baptizing thousands and millions. You preach that we should unite with Catholics in ecumenical meetings and you baptize one million souls to the lake of fire because anybody who's going to unite with the Catholicism and Babylon is going to the lake of fire. That money, if you do not use it to, to support Pastor Andrew and Rigas there, to do his job and Pastor Emmanuel <laughs> and other ministries like ours, my friends, you are going to have pestilences. I think we have one already who had a pestilence. Uh, I think I have a same one. Is it Ganon Dio or something? He, the man. Let me read this again. I saw that those who had the money, the means, were required to help speed these messengers that God has called to labor in his cause. And as they went from place to place, they would be safe from the prevailing pestilence, the one which caught Ganon Dio. But if they went 
that were not sent, like Ganon is not sent of God, because God cannot send you to go and dine with the Antichrist. They would be in danger of being cut down by the pestilence. And it happened. I don't know if he has healed. Therefore, all should earnestly seek for duty and be sure to move, to move and move by the direction of the Holy Spirit. The Lord gave me a view, January 26, which I will relate to you, says our prophet. I saw that some of the people of God were stupid and dormant and were half awake and did not realize the time we are now living in exactly and that the man with the dirty brush had entered and that some were in danger of being swept away. I begged of Jesus to save them, to spare them a little longer and let them see their awful danger. There is danger that is coming and you are too blind to see it, that they might get ready before life should be forever, before it should be forever late. The angel said, destruction is coming like a mighty whirlwind. I begged of the angel to pity and to save those who loved this world and were attached to their possessions and money and were not willing to cut loose from them and sacrifice them to the speed messengers the people have mentioned on, the way, on their way to feed the hungry sheep who were perishing for want of spiritual food. Oh, my dear friends, as I viewed the poor souls dying for the want of present truth and some who professed to believe the truth were letting them die by withholding the necessary means to carry forward the work of God, the sight was too painful for the prophet and I begged of the angel to remove it from me. She was hurt. I saw that when the cause of God called for some of their property, like the rich young man who came to Jesus in mind, you know the rich young man, they went away sorrowful and that soon the overflowing scourge would pass over and sweep their possessions all away. Very soon you're all going to lose that money. And then it would be too late to sacrifice earthly goods and lay up a treasure in heaven. Then the suffering Jesus, his sacrifice and love so deep, was to give his life for them again he came before me and the lives of those who professed to be his followers who had the world's monies and goods and considered it to be so a great thing to help the cause of salvation the angel said can such enter heaven listen now to the message to you another angel answered no never 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 those who are not interested in the cause of god on earth can never sing the song of the redeeming love above so if you give your tithes and offerings elsewhere and not to the present truth messengers because we just have next year until they announce the national sunday law next year we don't have time my dear friends the general conference is dead the, if they announce the national sunday law where will the general conference be they, they, that's the first thing they are shutting down because the, it will come with persecution and no one in sda will be allowed to go to any structure of building entitled sda only the present truth messengers will carry on doing their job that they have been doing and the church is not doing today. The conference is not doing that work. The conference is uniting with government to arrest present truth messengers. Already it's in Zambia. In Zambia. It has happened. And already uniting also with the same man of sin the Bible describes that we should not receive his mark. I saw that the quick, I saw that the quick work that God was doing on earth would soon be cut short in righteousness and that the swift messengers again must speed on their way to search out the scattered flock. An angel said, are all messengers? No, no, not Ganon Diop, not all these other fa false and fake prophecy preachers like uh, Ted Wilson and Mark Finley. God's messengers have a message. I've given you their, their, their pages. Go and see the common factor with them, all of them. I saw that the cause of God had been hindered and dishonored by some traveling who had no message from God. Such will have to give an account to God for every dollar. You're going to give an account, my friends. They've used in traveling where it was not their duty to go. For that money might have helped on the cause of God. And for the lack of it, souls have starved and died for the want of spiritual food that might have been given to them by God's calling, called and chosen messengers. God is the one who chose us. Nobody chose us but God, if they had the means to do it. The mighty shaking has commenced and will go on and all will be shaken out who are not willing to take a hold and unyielding stand for the truth and the sacrifice for God and his cause. The angel said, Think ye that any will be compelled to sacrifice. No one will be forced. No, no. It must be a free will offering 
it will take all to buy the field. I cried to God to spare his people, some whom were fainting and dying. So my dear brothers and sisters, the message today is that if you're giving tithes and offerings, you're still in the old system like the scribes and Pharisees during Jesus' time when he came on this earth who stuck on to Passover and yet Jesus said Passover is no longer there. I'm replacing it with the Lord's Supper. They said, no, why are you replacing it with that? My dear friends, the general conference and all the conferences is no longer there. It might actually be this year in September, between September and December, that these things will be dissolved. It means you've been planting and investing where, my friends, you can you imagine investing a mansion and then it swept away and you cry? Put your tithes and offerings to the swift messengers who need to carry the third angel's message across the globe. And then you have a mansion waiting for you. Join me again next time when we meet as we continue looking at present truth of our time. Jesus is not on the cross anymore, the way the Catholics still have him on the cross. Some time back our study guide, which is produced by Ted Wilson and the conference, was saying, husband and wives together at the cross. That's the same message. I raised up my hand at church and said, elders, this is a problem. They said, again, you're bringing conflict. I said, no, it's not conflict, it's a fact. This message is the same with Catholics, where Jesus is still hanging on the cross. Our Jesus left that cross. And he says, my sheep hear my voice, are you his sheep? And follow me, follow Jesus. Why are you taking us back 2,000 years ago on the cross? Catholics still have him hanging on the cross. USDA has had a topic in your study guide that a lot of people treasure so much blindly, saying husbands and wives together at the cross. My dear friends, if you are a husband and wife, you are still at the cross, you are a Catholic. You are just an SDA by title, but you are a Catholic. Leave that cross. Go where Jesus is, my sheep hear my voice and follow me. There where I am shall my sheep be also. Mary was ever at the feet of Jesus and she was very safe. We need to be at the feet of Jesus. He's not at Calvary in some place called Jerusalem and West Jerusalem where there's war and bomb bombardings today like we had on this uh, week's loud cry update. My dear friends, Jesus is not in those places. He's in the most holy place. And if you don't want to join us where he is, you are not safe at all. Remember, Maranatha, Jesus is at the door, coming very, very, very soonest. Amen. Be with pride.
Christ my Savior need, trusting that I someday shall see, Jesus my friend of Calvary, Jesus shall lead me night and day, Jesus shall lead me all the way, He is the truest friend to me. Jesus shall lead me night and day. Jesus shall lead me all the way. He's the truest friend to me who I remember Calvary. Jesus shall lead me night and day. Jesus shall lead me all the way. He is the truest friend to me.